Fu Kang 公主 The Princess Fu Kang was the oldest daughter of the Emperor Ren Zong of Song and his noble consort Miao. When Fu Kang 公主 was born, Ren Zong already twenty eight years old. Before Fu Kang 公主 Ren Zong only had one son, who died immediately after born. Fu Kang 公主 Spurs. Brought extremely happiness to Ren Zhong. Actually, after Fu Kang 公主 Ren Zhong do have some kids, but most of them died at early young age. This made Fu Kang 公主 was the only child of Ren Zhong for about twenty years. Fu Kang 公主 and Ren Zhong had a close father and daughter relationship. When Fu Kang 公主 was a kid, once Ren Zhong was seriously sick, Fu Kang 公主 personally took care of Ren Zhong, and made a wish that used her ten years' life to exchange his father's house. As Empress' favorite daughter, Fu Kang 公主 was the happiest girl in the country. In June 1056. Ren Zhong held a grand ceremony to promote Fu Kang 公主 to Yan Guo 公主 the Princess Yan State. This was the first time that a prince had a promotion ceremony in Song Dynasty. In August the same year, Fu Kang 公主 was married with Li Wei. She had to live the inner court. And started her doomed failed marriage. Li Wei was a person with talent. He was good at poetry and drawing, but was ugly, and bad at conversation. Ren Zhong chose him partially because his talent. The most important reason was to compensate Ren Zhong's biological mother, the consort Chen. Li Shi. Li Shi was the maid of Liu He, who was the Emperor Shen Zhong's favorite consort. After Li Shi gave birth to Ren Zhong, Zhen Zhong immediately announced Ren Zhong was born by Liu He. Depending on this stolen prince, who was the only son of Zhen Zhong, Liu He was promoted to the Empress. Well, Li Shi only got a lower rank consort title, and stayed in the corner of the inner court. When Zhen Zhong passed away, Liu He became the Empress' daughter. Well, Li Shi was sent to Zhen Zhong's tomb, because Ren Zhong became the emperor at thirteen, too young to personally rule the country. Empress Daughter Liu He reigns behind the curtain. Liu He ruled the court for ten years and passed away in 1033. Up on Liu He's death, Ren Zhong was told that his biological mother was Li Shi, who already passed away in 1032. During 23 years. Ren Zhong never paid any attention to this lower-rank concubine. Now she knew the truth. He had the capability to give Li Shi all the honors and the living conditions she should have, but Li Shi had no chance to enjoy them. So Ren Zhong decided to compensate Li Shi's original family. He gave noble titles and a huge amount of treasure to Li Shi's brother Li Yonghe, but Ren Zhong didn't think this was enough. In 1047, when Fu Kang 公主 was ten years old, Ren Zhong chose the thirteen years old Li Wei as Fu Kang 公主's future husband. Because Li Wei was the sixth son of Li Yonghe, yes, Li Wei was Ren Zhong's cousin. Unfortunately, when Fu Kang 公主 grew up, 
she didn't satisfy with this arrangement marriage, because Levi was too ugly. Although Levi was well educated and had artist talent, Fu Kang Gongzhu begged his father to cancel this arrangement marriage, but was refused. In 1056, Fu Kang Gongzhu had to be married with Li Wei. Then the nightmare started. After married, Fu Kang Gongzhu neither respected her husband nor her mother-in-law Yang Shi. Fu Kang Gongzhu even con- convinced her servants, bullying Li Wei. In 1060. Ye Kou Gongmen event happened. Fu Kang Gongzhu's unhappy marriage switched from a personal event to a public event. The cause of Ye Kou Gongmen was simple. Fu Kang Gongzhu's mother-in-law picked Li Wei drunk with her servant Liang Huaiji, who was a eunuch during the night. Fu Kang Gongzhu became furious. And punched her mother-in-law, then came back to the inner court immediately. In Song Dynasty, there were strict rules about opening the door of the inner court during the night. Generally speaking, the door only could be opened for emergency military informations. So after the ministers know. The gate was opened because of the law between the princess and her mother-in-law. All ministers required Emperor Ren Zhong to punish the Fu Kang Gongzhu, but Ren Zhong loved this daughter so much, he just changed Fu Kang Gongzhu's close servants. The ministers also stood on Li Wei's side and accused Fu Kang Gongzhu. The high pressure made Fu Kang Gongzhu total crack up. After trying to suicide for several times, the noble consort Miao begged Ren Zhong to poison Li Wei. Ren Zhong kept silent. The Empress Cao pressured Ren Zhong that the goal of the marriage between Fu Kang Gongzhu and Li Wei was to compensate the Li family. Did it make sense that killed their innocent son? Ren Zhong agreed with the Empress Cao. Li Wei wasn't died, but still was banished to Weizhou. Fu Kang Gongzhu came back to the inner court. In 1062, Ren Zhong allowed Fu Kang Gongzhu get divorced with Li Wei, but. One year later, before death, Ren Zhong made Fu Kang Gongzhu and Li Wei remarry. Ren Zhong didn't have a son. He here was from a close branch of the royal clan, so Fu Kang Gongzhu lost her support from the royal family. This time, it was the turn of Li Wei to bully Fu Kang Gongzhu. Li Wei didn't allow servants to serve Fu Kang Gongzhu. Her face was burned by the fire. When Fu Kang Gongzhu was seriously sick, Li Wei didn't ask doctor to treat Fu Kang Gongzhu. In 1070, Fu Kang Gongzhu passed away at 33. In her funeral, Fu Kang Gongzhu's servants got the chance. To tell Fu Kang Gongzhu's poor living condition to the Emperor Shen Zhong, the Emperor Shen Zhong was furious, and Li Wei was banished to Chenzhou. Li Wei passed away in 1093. Thank you for watching this video. Merry Christmas! See you soon.